say some things. I like Andy's a clown, I don't like him. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, back here again at Raw Barbell. In the last video, we talked about the history of stones, natural stone lifting, and sort of the evolution of stone lifting into your modern strongman competitions. In this video, what we're gonna do is we'll start breaking down the technique of stone lifting, especially your modern stone lifting with your Atlas stones. And we're gonna go through the first two parts of stone lifting. So stage one is breaking that stone off the ground, which you would call the pick. And the second stage would be rolling that stone into the lap, the lapping portion of the stone. Okay guys, um, so here today to help me demonstrate is Vu, Olympic weightlifter, and he's not lifted stones before, so this is a great opportunity to demonstrate how we're going to learn these stones. All right Vu, so what you want to do is you're going to come over the top of the stone, give yourself some space, and as the stones get bigger, obviously your stance is going to get wider, and we'll discuss that later on, what you will do with this leg once you pull it into a certain position. For now, you are going to be just basically shoulder width apart, enough room for you to get over. You want to be sort of at the hemisphere of the stone, so that you can be perfectly balanced. Remember the stones are perfectly round and perfectly balanced. So as opposed to a natural stone where you may have different hand positions, different foot positions because the weight distributes unevenly, these are always the same. So you come in, feet are even, you need to be centered or the stone is gonna roll forward or it's gonna roll back on you. Okay. Yep, so over the stone like that. Bill's giving himself enough space here. His hands are gonna come down under it. He's gonna keep his arms largely straight, just bent enough. He's gonna pull his lats back and down as if he was deadlifting. And he needs to penetrate that stone as much as possible, which means get your hands as far under the stone as you can. You don't need to have them interlaced, but you wanna have as much surface contact with your forearms and your hands as possible. Now his next move for the pick is basically an RDL with the stone. He's gonna pull up on that, push with his legs. His legs aren't gonna come all the way down into a full squat yet. And then pull that up past the knees, perfect. And then as he sits back, it will roll back into his lap. So this is a lap position. And that was perfect from Vu because he automatically started adjusting his leg stance. With a wide stone, you start out here, you don't wanna stand up like that. So you're gonna to need to move that under while you're in the lap position, just like he is here. As we can see here, Vu's taking a wide stance, which would be perfect for a much larger stone. What he needs to do is create that space for himself by having a wide stance. And as he brings the stone up past the knees, he'll then move one leg under closer to create the platform for the lap position and also a much more comfortable stance for squatting up into the extend. Okay guys, now when positioning for stones, remember none of these positions are 100% static. There's a lot of variation between uh, leverages, lengths, limb lengths of each individual person, as the stone diameter increases, those hand positions may come around a little more, and you need to find the individual balance point for yourself and work out the perfect stance for yourself when you're, when you're stone lifting. Um, but these, these are general rules that will get you started, and then you'll be able to work it out from there. If you like this content, guys, like, follow, subscribe us on YouTube, um, and hit us up for any more information, or come on down to Raw Barbell, and we'll uh, talk some more about stone lifting. Yeah!